if you're you know 35 plus or even 25 plus and haven't done it, it should be functionality training for you. Does that make sense? Okay. So those of you who can, we're going to do feet shoulder with the park. We're going to it. Feet shoulder with the park. And hip with the park if you need to. Arms out in front of you. Get your core tight. Chest big. Knees should be soft. Take your hips back. This is and real quick. Don't do this now. This is your starting point. Stay wherever you are. This is your starting point. Ladies and gentlemen, exercise is about technique and form. If you did the form right, you will recruit the muscle that you want to recruit. Recruit. Does that make sense? Two things before you go get to the Hold it though, hold it. Before you do this, everybody, if you haven't done squats in a while or you haven't done it ever, take the wider stance of what you already have, and it's okay if your feet go out a little bit. It might be straight ahead because you want a comfortable bank, so it's going to feel a little weird. So, and if you have bad knees, do the chair that I showed you. Do the chair. If you have bad knees, again, that's okay. Always work out to your, your capabilities, okay? All right, rest of us. We're good, core tight, chest up, hips are back, ready to come down as deep as you can for you. Good, and come on up nice and smooth, all right? Keep going in that form, keep going in that format. As you come up, you exhale. Your goal is to sit back on your heels. You should not be on your toes when you sit down, get your feet wide and slow down. So let's up to your heels on the way up and go back smooth to your body. Down. Keep your chest big. What you don't want to do is you don't want to lean over like this. You want to just sit down deep. If you can't get to deep, right there is fine. Good. That's perfect. Good. But sit your bottom back. Sit your bottom back. In five, keep going. Four, good. It's Three, good. Keep going. Two, and one. Good. Stand up. Let's walk in place. Stand up. Let's walk in place. Let's walk in place. Not bad. So on your own, three sets of 15. Again, if you can't get three sets in, do one set of 15 and 20. That's fine. Then what you're doing now is you're walking in place. What we call this is called active rest. You're actively moving in your rest period. What you do now is you're burning more calories. Okay? Whereas opposed to guys, you know how we do. We'll go in, do a set, sit down, talk about the game, <laughs> stare, stare at the ladies walking by, talk about them moving, and then we get back into our set, right? We're not burning calories. Ladies, you just stay with the cardio all day, and you're good to go. That's what I'm doing. 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 That's what i am doing that is what i am doing that is what i am doing that is what i am doing Squats. Real quick, I'll just go one more time. Sit back into your heels. Make sure that you're not going to, you're not going to do it. Just remember the technique. Just remember the technique. Sit back into your heels, chest up, core tight, and always make sure your bottom is the first thing to go back. Let's go into the next activity, lunges. Lunges. Lunges are important for men and women. Guys, do not think that we're beyond this because we're not. Ladies, you heard that uh, lunges help the glutes, right? Help the glutes stay firm. Well, yes, they do, if we do it properly. So watch me first before we go into it, okay? Your lunges, your front knee should always be soft. Back foot, if you notice, is on the toe. Got it? Never have your heel on the ground on your back foot. Never. Okay, what happens is when you go down to a lunge, you might shift back and sit back and you take the pressure off the main quad and glute. So what we want, front leg forward, back leg on the toe, front knee is bent. Core tight, always engage your core. Take your time. The reason why I'm so adamant about this right now and saying this to you all, every time he gets into his activity, if you were to watch him work out, he will set himself no matter what he's doing and make sure his core is engaged and then he goes to the workout. A lot of times we just jump into the workout, you know, it's a walking lunge, you know, you know, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, the table is good, P90X is great, and it is, but if you're doing it half hearted, you're not going to get it, okay? So always core tight. Core tight, back foot. Back to your lunges. When I go down, my knee should not go past my toe when I go down. My knee should go straight in line with my foot and come straight back up, okay? So you can see it on this side. When I go down, back foot on the toe, knee when I come down does not go past this front toe. And you can't get that deep, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be afraid to use support. You don't have to try to match somebody else's workout. Just do what you can do, okay? So if I want to do my lunges, I'm going to take the outside hand or even if it's the inside hand. My foot, outside hand, come down, use this to help push it up, but keep my core tight, and that way I have support. 
eventually you can get lower. Never let the back knee hit the ground. Never let your back knee hit the ground, okay? Just make sure, again, you keep your core tight chest up. If you need support, you can do so. Does that make sense to you all? All right? So, let's do right foot forward, left foot back. Those of you who need a table, please grab the table. If you need a table, do it. No shame, man. Right foot forward, left foot back. Now, the thing is, I'm going to draw this part of the narrow stance. You're in the narrow stance this narrow? Oh, no, you're going to automatically go full. Okay, you have to spray it. You have to spray it. You have to be a little bit wider. You don't want to be a full split. Not saying that. But you want to be in a position where you're a little bit further split apart. Okay? If you need table support, please hit that. All right? Now, ready? We're going to place our hands on our hips. Core tight. And I see a lot of you still have a narrow stance. I know you got some research. Give me all that's happening. Yeah. So wobble, wobble. All right, ready? We're gonna come down nice and slow. Don't go too deep. Go deep as you can. Come on back up. Good. Come on back up. Keep your core tight, chest up. You should not lean forward when you come down. You should not lean forward when you come down. Keep going. Keep going. Don't wait till we don't come around. Keep going. Okay. Now, now, don't walk down. Don't walk down. Okay. Now, we're going to go straight down. In five, keep going. Four, three, okay. three, 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 two, one. Stop. Good. Stand up. Walk in place. Walk in place. Watch my body form and my movement, ladies and gentlemen, when I go down. If I go down and I rock back and I come up, that's wrong. Everybody hear that? Feel your body. Feel your body when you do this activity. If you go down and you rock back and you come up, that's wrong. The pressure needs to be here. This front leg needs to feel as if it's getting ready to give out. Honestly, okay? You want the spine to feel as if it is. Not your knees. 